Hello, ethical hackers. Welcome again to this episode in which we're going to continue working on our broken access control testing. And this time, we're going to use auto repeater and authorize. As I said in the part one of this tutorial, it's really important to master the skill of testing broken access control, because trust me, you will find it everywhere in the applications you're going to test. So without any delay, let's get started. Auto repeater as well as authorize don't work the same way as auth matrix. In auth matrix, you manually send the requests that you want to test, while authorize and auto repeater will listen for any incoming requests in the proxy and then replay them automatically. This is good if you want to test things on the fly. I personally prefer to choose my requests accordingly. That way, I don't get lost with a bunch of requests that don't change the state of the application. Because at the end of the day, you need to make sure that there is some impact with the broken access control that you, you found. All right, so let's try auto repeater. Here you have the configuration part. So what we can do here basically is just add a rule. And it's the same idea behind match and replace configuration we did earlier so what we have to do here is match a request header which corresponds to, the, to our JWT token and replace it with our attacking user so let's do that let's once again go to user A which is our victim and try to access something let's grab the JWT token and let's put it here okay Let's do the same thing, but for user B, right? So here we just take this header here and put it in the replace part, okay? So here we have a tab which replaces every request which comes as user A, our victim in this case, and re replay it and shows you the different response status and length here. So let's do that. Let's go to our user A, right? Let's first make sure that we have auto repeater active. And now if I go to this product, all right, let's just sort by the latest request. And you can see here that we have a bunch of requests which have been replayed. All right, so here we have a search query, right? Which normally returns the same length for both the original request and the response request. And this is what I meant by having a lot of requests coming through your feed without being vulnerable. So here, this endpoint is accessible to every user. However, if we add something to the basket, you can see that this request here returns 200 OK for both original status and the modified request status with the same length for both responses, which is a strong indication that this is lacking access control. And here you can see that this is the line which has been modified between the two requests and sure enough, our victims JWT token has been modified by our attackers JWT and the response has been successful. And this is also extendable to many users. So for example, you can just hit a new tab here and add our second role, which would change the users A JWT to users C JWT, right? and you can deactivate each tab at a time as you like, which is really neat and good. But here we have a lot of requests which don't correspond to the endpoints that we want to really test. So in this case, we can apply some conditions here, right? And this extension doesn't allow you to save the tested 
requests, but I just use auto repeater if I want to repeat a request multiple times using different payloads. It's not really my go-to tool when it comes to broken access control. But here you have it, you can, you can use it as well. And the last extension that I want to talk to you about has a lot of features, which is Autorize. So right now Autorize is off. Let's just go ahead and make sure that our both tabs have been deactivated, right? So Autorize allows you to do pretty much the same thing as Auto Repeater. It allows you to capture only the requests that you want to replay but it also has the feature of highlighting the bad requests pretty much like Authmetrix does. So here we can say that we want to ignore any cached responses. We are not interested in requests coming from repeater. This is the part that we want to change. So we need to send the cookies and the header of our attacking user whenever we have our victim user sending request. So what I need to do here is just go to once again our proxy history and then go to our attacking user and just simulate some, send some requests. So here we can grab the authorization better and automatically we will import those cookies. The way we do that is just fetch cookies from the last request and here we have it. So what I need to do is paste our attacking JWT token. Okay. So now what I want is define some interception filters so that I don't have all my requests coming in. This will generate a lot of noise here for me, which I'm not interested in. So first, only the HTTP methods that I want are put and post. Let's add those in and hope that we don't have any get requests, although they might be subject to broken access control as well. All right, so let's turn it on and see if we can have any requests replayed. It seems that I don't get anything, that's because I'm only fetching, intercepting requests which change the state. Um, in this case, the put and post methods. So let's send a review and see if we have any requests. And sure enough, we have a put request here, which is highlighted in red because the modified response and the, re the original response have the same length. Now, we can also tweak the parameters to say, to teach uh, Autorize whether this is um, a broken access control or not. And the way we do that is we come here to enforcement detector. And here we say that, for example, uh, whenever you see that the status code is equals to 403, this means that the request is properly enforced, meaning that it's it doesn't suffer from broken access control. Let's like, for example, this post. So here in this case, for example, you can see that this request, you see it here. If we click on the modified request case here, we see the modified request. The response here seems to indicate that this is vulnerable to broken access control. However, because the length have been modified, Auth matrix says that this might be not enforced. So you shouldn't rely 100% on the tools. You still need to verify the findings and make sure that you don't have any false positives or false negatives. So that's it. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful for you. And I hope that you add testing for broken access control in your arsenal and that you add either Authmetrix, Authrise, Autorepeater, or maybe just change uh, the proxy match and replace configuration. You really have to add those to your toolset and start testing for broken access control. Because believe me, 
there are a lot of applications which are vulnerable to that. So until the next tutorial, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.